Good morning, my name is Kelsey, and today we are going to be talking about conquering cholesterol. So this is going to be using lifestyle changes to help improve your cholesterol levels. So today we are going to be talking about what cholesterol is, three facts about cholesterol, the good versus the bad cholesterol, how to manage it with lifestyle, we're gonna focus a little bit on a few foods and then some action steps to help get you started. So first off, what is cholesterol? Cholesterol is this waxy sort of fat-like substance that is found in our cells in our body. Now, here are three facts about cholesterol. One, cholesterol is actually really important. Uh, our body uses it to make hormones, vitamin D, bile acids, so it is a necessary part of our body. The second fact is that our body makes all the cholesterol that it needs. So essentially we have our own cholesterol manufacturing system. This leads to the third fact about cholesterol that we don't actually need to eat cholesterol because we have already made all that we need. So when you talk with your doctor about your cholesterol levels, what is it that they're actually referring to? Well, when we talk about these levels, what we're actually talking about are these protein carriers that help to move cholesterol around in the body. So it's kind of like a shuttle system. This is where the good versus the bad cholesterol comes into play. So bad cholesterol or LDL cholesterol is the carrier or the shuttle that takes cholesterol from our liver and deposits it in cells and blood vessels throughout the body. And this is what can lead to atherosclerosis or when plaque begins to build up in the arteries. Now, when we talk about high levels of LDL cholesterol, this means that you have a lot of cholesterol that's being deposited in cells and arteries where it's not needed. Now, the good cholesterol or the HDL cholesterol is the shuttle or the carrier that picks up cholesterol that has been deposited in the cells and blood vessels by the LDL cholesterol. And then it takes it back to the liver where it can dispose of it. So think of HDL cholesterol as the cleanup crew, cleaning up after the bad cholesterol. So when we talk about your HDL cholesterol levels being too low, this means that your cleanup crew isn't working so well. So there are kind of three different areas to focus on managing cholesterol with lifestyle. The first is diet, so we're going to talk about some more specific nutrients in a bit, but the brief summary is that saturated fat, fiber, and plant sterols are kind of the key nutrients here. Exercise, so you want to aim to exercise three to four times a week for 40 minutes at moderate intensity. Now moderate intensity is things like brisk walking or water aerobics, something that's not too intense. And then the third area is weight loss. So losing even 10 pounds has been shown to improve cholesterol levels. And the great part about this is that weight loss should hopefully be a byproduct when you work on improving your diet and increasing your exercise. Okay, let's focus just a little bit more on some foods that are important. So first we wanna increase fiber because soluble fiber helps to present, prevent cholesterol from being absorbed. Now, we have a great video that's all about fiber. Um, if you wanna to go to our website, it's at lifestylemedical.com slash resources, and you'll find that there. Um, the second food to focus on is increasing phytosterols. Now, phytosterols are like the plant version of cholesterol. And so when you eat them, they compete with animal cholesterol to be absorbed by our body. And last but not least is saturated fat. Now saturated fat is kind of the key nutrient when it comes to lowering cholesterol. Um, saturated fat prevents certain enzymes from doing their job to help clear out cholesterol. So decreasing saturated fat can really help to decrease your LDL cholesterol levels. So here is just a list that has some foods that are both high in fiber and those phytosterols or plant sterols that can help to lower cholesterol. So these would be foods like quinoa or oatmeal or split peas, chia seeds, almonds, you get the idea. 
All right, let's finish by talking about some cholesterol game changers that can help you to incorporate some of these tips into your life. So first, you wanna to try to consume 40 grams of fiber per day, which will help to lower your LDL cholesterol levels. And again, check out that video on our website under the resources tab. So it gives a great breakdown of different kinds of fibers. Uh, second, you want to try to eat one serving of nuts and seeds every day because this will help you to get not only more fiber, but also more of those phytosterols in your diet from whole food sources. Third, you want to limit animal products because animal products are really the main source of saturated fat. There are a few plant sources like coconut and certain plant oils that have saturated fat, but animal products really are the main culprit. And so if you can, eliminate all animal products or just use them sparingly. And then the fourth game changer is to exercise three to four times a week, moderate intensity. And this is what helps to increase your HDL cholesterol levels or the good cholesterol. And that is it for today on managing cholesterol with lifestyle. Thank you so much for watching.